In this video, we are going to do a business case analysis. Uh, we have a startup that is trying to uh, decide if they should get into a given business. So uh, just read through the basic description, pause the video and read through the description. And then I have some more uh, details uh, about the price, about various types of costs involved. I'm going to use an Excel sheet to illustrate uh, this graphically. So I'm just going to jump to my Excel sheet here and I have all the details which are required. Now I'm assuming that you understand the basic description of what this uh, business is trying to do. Uh, so basic numbers that we always look through, you know, without reading all of this is number one, we are interested in price per unit. We are interested in the variable cost uh, per unit and we want to know the fixed uh, cost. If we know all of this, then, you know, we can do the rest of the things. The basic model is in place. The first thing now is to identify these three. So I'm going to read through. Uh, the district administration has identified 20 locations where the device will be installed. So one device per location means 20 devices. And I'm going to create a scenario as well. So scenario is that you sell uh, 20 units to the administration. Maybe you could sell five and then you could sell uh, this I will 10. 10 units, 20, 30, 40, you could go on basically. So these are the number of units that you, uh, let's say if you sell, then what happens? The next information is the administration has agreed to pay 5,000 per location for installation and uh, 5,000 for annual maintenance charges. So the first 5,000 also includes the cost of the unit. So there are two components to the variable cost. The first component is uh, uh, the uh, price per installation. So installation is 5000 and you have maintenance, let's say 5000. So total price per unit comes out to be uh, 10,000, sum of these two. All right. Uh, oh, this has to be moved to price here. All right, so you have the basic information about the price. Now let's look forward. Uh, the startup will need to set up a manufacturing plant, some description, and it has to be rented 40,000 a month. The landlord would rent out only advance, uh, would rent out only for advance rent for one year. That means that this startup has to pay 40,000 into 12 one month's rent in advance and they can't leave before one month. If they leave, they lose this money. So this is kind of the fixed uh, cost. So let me write uh, plant rent and the rent is 40,000 a month into 12. So for one year, I have to pay this. No questions asked. Done. Then you have the factory setup cost 30,000. So I'll say setup cost is 30,000. Next up, uh, you have to hire two employees, 10,000 a month to handle manufacturing and installation. So all these installations, you have to hire people, they'll go there, they'll install, and you have to pay to these people. This is also fixed, does not matter how many installations. Uh, you do this number is again fixed monthly basis in a month you do one installation 10 installation does not matter so let me say salary uh, is 10 10,000 for two people for 12 months for one year this is the uh, cost now I'm bringing everything to one year uh, you know time frame because if I take the uh, plant on rent I have to pay for one year so that's my minimum commitment so I'm doing everything in one year, uh, you know, perspective. And I don't want to start this business if uh, the time horizon of the business is less than one year, if this deal is going to be for less than one year. So you know, using that basic understanding, I'm uh, just starting out with uh, <coughs> these calculations. All right, next up we have material and assembly for each device costs 500. So variable cost is given now. So material cost is 500. Let me move the fixed cost to next column. In addition, annual travel expenses are estimated to be 1000 per location for periodical maintenance. So it's not that you install the device and then you forget about it. 
uh, you have to continuously monitor the device as well because it's a landslide monitoring device. If there was a landslide, that device is lost now. Or there could be rain, there could be you know wild animals uh, taking away the device. Uh, so different issues could arise and you have to uh, basically be ready for that as well. So uh, there is a thousand uh, expenses of thousand per location. So th these are, uh, let's say maintenance, maintenance expenses. 1000 per location. So for one location, it costs you 1500 to install and then maintain that for one year. And it varies by uh, the location. Although this is an annual number, if you do more locations, meaning more products, this cost is going to go up. That's why I'm using this as the uh, uh, variable cost, not the fixed cost. All right. Then you have server cost 200 per month and an annual subscription has to be taken and does not matter how many units you uh, install you have to take an annual subscription that money has to go in uh, one go therefore it's a fixed uh, cost so server cost is 200 per month for 12 months so this is also done all right so nothing else so now we don't have to worry about the information we just use this basic information and we do our scenario calculation so uh, total price so my, what is my variable cost per unit my variable cost per unit comes out to be 1500 what is the fixed cost total fixed cost is equal to sum of all these numbers which comes out to be this number so i'm interested in this number variable cost per unit and the price that I will make per unit. Now in these scenarios what is going to be my uh, revenue? My revenue is going to be equal to um, number of uh, uh, these are installations let me write number of installations and all these are scenarios basically. So if 10 installations are done then I make 10 times the total price that I uh, have so this is the amount of money I make and I'm just going to copy and paste this formula here. So I have revenue in different scenarios. All right. So if I do 100 installations, then 10,000 per installation, I'm making uh, 10 lakhs. That's right. Okay. This is revenue. What is my total cost? My uh, variable cost first. Maybe I'll say total cost and then I'll calculate variable cost and then the fixed cost as well variable cost is equal to again number of installations times the variable cost per installation which is 1500 and done so variable cost is equal to this much across different scenarios the fixed cost of course is fixed it's not going to move it's not dependent upon the number of units that you uh, produce Therefore, the total cost is going to be equal to sum of these two. This gives you this number. All right. Now, you could very well do the profit calculation. What is the profit? Profit is going to be equal to your revenue minus your cost. And it's a negative number. All right. To begin with. So, we know we don't. And at 20, it is negative as well. So, we don't want to go with. Uh, 20 installations we certainly want to do more and as you see as you go towards 100 units that's when you start making profit so clearly you do not want to go with this small order of 20 you have to do more how many more now in order for us to have a better graph I'm going to introduce uh, more units here 120 30 50 and basically just copy and paste uh, the rest of the formulas here so that we have the we have a nice graph when we plot it so let me zoom out a little bit yeah now you see it uh, clearly so this is this is the scenario analysis and you could just go on you could include more uh, numbers as well so this is how it looks for uh, you know the business we can't do uh, only 20 units. So do you have a counter proposal for the administration? Well, we have to tell them that, that you have to give us minimum order of 100 because we are not going to break even unless we have 100 units. At, at 80 units, I'm still making a loss. 
what happens at 90? Let me just change it here. <coughs> at 90, I'm breaking even. So 90 is also fine. At 85, I'm losing money. At 88, <coughs> at 89, yeah. So 89 is where I make some money. So the break even is at 88 point something. That's the uh, idea. And we can, uh, so this is 80. Uh, I haven't done 90 by the way. So maybe I could also include a 90 <coughs> to get a better idea. So there. So what is the break even point? So if we do the mathematical calculation, break even point is fixed cost divided by the variable, uh, the contribution. So this is the fixed cost minus the contribution and contribution is price minus the variable cost per unit. So this comes out to be uh, 7439. Okay, what did I do? I put a negative sign instead of divide. There you go. So break even point is 88. 0.5 so you have to do uh, 89 installations if you do 88 installation you're losing money so 89 installations is minimum that you want from the government the next thing that you could do is now you could depict this on a, a graph so let's zoom out a little bit in order for us to have a graph let me use get rid of this and these these three rows is what is going to go into my graph. I go to insert, uh, use a graph, all right. <clears throat> and there is an empty cell here. I should also get rid of that. Yeah. So there's some adjustment that this uh, graph requires. The number of units is this so select it okay so it now shows the x uh, x's having 10 to 150 we want to show these three numbers number of installations uh, no not this uh, the y axis all right let me press okay now what do i have you have revenue and total cost shown here and the break even point is at 88 looks good here you have total revenue revenue is about this much and this amount comes out to be 15 lakhs yeah this is about right so this is how this chart uh, looks you have a break-even point here and if you're operating at 10 10 units or 20 units which the government is right now uh, proposing you are in big loss this is a big big area and you don't want to be operating here so uh, there you go, we have uh, answered the question. <coughs> so the question was, uh, should the startup accept the order from the district administration? No. Should they make a counter proposal? Yes, they should take minimum 100, but then they should also say we want to make some profit. So there's a minimum scale of business that you need in order to, uh, you know, this, to start a business. So that's how you know this analysis can be done for any other uh, business as well. If you have a business proposal, if you have any other uh, business opportunity, you could use a simple Excel sheet and do the numbers. Of course, digging out the numbers, determining the numbers is another exercise. In